this is Robert Seidel from the Essential Oil Company and we're in uh, an area called Coca in Spain, up in the mountainous region, where they're actually harvesting uh, resin for making uh, turpentine. This is a particular tree called Pinos Panaster, also known as the uh, maritime pine, Mediterranean pine. Um, and they use this because uh, you, you, you can produce the most resin from this particular tree. These trees are grown, uh, um, they're cultivated, it's not wild. Um, they are grown for 100 years, and after 100 years, and the tree is cut down and they're replanted uh, to produce more resin. So if you see here, this is the bark, quite a bit of bark here, but what they do is they remove the bark. They don't get quite down to the wood, they're just removing the bark. Then they very carefully tap inside the bark and place this piece of plastic uh, uh, used as a funnel for the resin. If you can see here, this is where the, the cut is made to the wood below the bark, but they don't cut into the wood, they just cut to the point where the wood starts. And you can see that the resin is actually pouring down and filling up this container. So if we come around here, you can see this, this section uh, was used um, earlier. So that's the production there. They're letting that rest. And you can see here is more of the uh, Pinos Panaster that's been cut. This, this pin is for holding the, uh, the bucket. And you can see the resin dripping over here. All right, it's dripping down here, and uh, normally there would be a bucket to catch this beautiful resin, and it's quite a warm day today, so we're getting resin, you can see it's on my fingers, very sticky. So that's, uh, that's the story of Pinos Panaster and the production of resin that's used for uh, making uh, turpentine.